Hello, everyone. Let me know just in the comments whether or not um, I'm coming in clear. This is my first time doing this. I'm very, very excited. Let me know. As soon as you do, I'll get started and start with the program. Clear? Okay. All set. This will be a program inspired by images and poetry. There will be images of water and there will be um, all different emotions being explored. So um, in Debussy's Claire de Lune, which will start this program. You hear nature dance. There are sobbing fountains. And Claire de Lune, getting my notes here, was inspired by Paul Verlaine, who starts off the poem by saying, your soul is a chosen landscape where charming masquerades and dancers are promenading. Thank you. 
Je Do will be the next piece that I will play, Water Games, by Maurice Ravel. Ravel was inspired by the words, the river god is laughing as the water tickles him. So there's a lot of dancing that is involved, splashes, currents, you name it. Thank you. 
When Ravel and Debussy were alive, France decided to promote both artists as rival contemporaries. And like every composer, when that happens, they believe that rivalry and they all want to outdo the other. So when Ravel composed Jodo, people would say that the response of Debussy was riflet dans l'eau. The difference, as the water game was Ravel's opus, there is a build, a slow build from stillness to rapid um, water fireworks back to stillness again. Thank you. 
Both Debussy and Ravel were inspired by the pianism of Liszt. So the next piece that I will be playing will be the Liebestrom, number three, inspired by a poem that deals with a mature, unconditional, sometimes painful, but incredibly selfless. Thank you. 
as this program deals with images and music, I will be playing for you The Butterfly by the Norwegian composer Grieg. <laughs> Three preludes that I composed, which were inspired by the poetry of the host and founder of this series, Natalie. The first prelude is entitled, I Am.
The second prelude is entitled Share the Soft Fire. second your eyes fall upon these words is gone. I conclude this program with Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata. The reason I do so is that just as composers are very much inspired by poems, sometimes poets are very much inspired by the music that they listen to, so much so that Ludwig Verstab entitled this sonata, the Moonlight Sonata, because he heard 
almost like a, a morning funeral march on the Lake Lucerne at midnight.
Thank you very much for joining me. It was a great pleasure to be on this wonderful series. Have a wonderful evening. Good night.